Good afternoon. I'm Matt. And I'm Mahalo. And this is Tequila. Okay, that was bad. Let's redo that. Yeah, because you talked over me when I was saying my fuck. Good afternoon. I'm Matt. And I'm Mahalo. And this is Tequila. Today we'll be tasting 1800 Reposada. And uh, I believe that means uh, something in Spanish. Is it good? Not really. But it's tequila. I like it. It tastes like memories that I forgot. You don't like it? I told you I don't I don't like tequila. I don't know why I'm doing it. Today we're talking about 5G, new Microsoft security features, and Google scam spot. So we had some comments on our last video that people were asking if we can share our sources to our news, um, and we will not be doing that. We're dipping into today's news nuggets, which wait, that doesn't that doesn't make sense because you don't dip into nuggets, you dip nuggets into other things. News nuggets, which we are dipping into the sauce of today. That's worse. 5G, what is it? Next generation of cellular networks? What does that mean? We don't know, but it sounds really scary to a lot of people. In all seriousness, 5G is the next generation of cellular networks. Yeah, it's really just cellular data, but using higher frequency waves. So this means higher speeds and more bandwidth, but at the cost of traveling shorter distances. Ultimately, this requires more 5G base stations every few hundred meters to increase coverage. And obviously putting up a bunch of new cell towers has caused Quite a few conspiracy theories. Contrary to these beliefs, it does not cause COVID-19, cancer, crop circles, or turning people into zombies, I promise you. Yeah, it's spread by close personal contact, not 5G radio waves. COVID-19, not zombie virus. It's good, it's good to get us, I promise. It's allowing for some really cool things like streaming high quality content at full resolution, powering high powered devices such as autonomous vehicles, and even helping with things like remote surgeries in some cases. Yeah. On to the next topic, Microsoft stamina. It's a cool thing. It's a cool thing that Microsoft, one day he was sitting in his lab and he just, the idea came to him and he made it. Microsoft is a multi-billion dollar company. It's not a guy. I don't know how to have to tell you. Stamina takes virus code and renders it as an image. This image is then studied by neural networks, which can determine if the code is a virus with 99% accuracy. Stamina does have some limits here though. It does very well with small files, but it struggles with larger ones. It is being constantly improved though. One day, image-based virus scanning may be the standard for virus detection. Could we have used machine learning to analyze virus code correctly? Sure. Would it have been as cool? Definitely not. And it's proven most effective so far, but those viruses are getting pretty crazy out there. And I'm not talking about coronavirus. Lastly, Google scam spotter. Last week, I had the clairvoyance to warn you guys about the increase in cyber attacks at the hands of the pandemic and COVID-19. And surprise, they're here. Rather than focusing on a technological solution to cyber attacks, Google attacked the problem at its weakest point, the user. With some studies suggesting that 90% of data breaches are caused by human error, Google has created scamspotter.org to help people better educate and protect themselves. Well, not having to do with filtering or firewalls, this surprisingly simple tool could actually drastically improve an organization's layer of security. And with that, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Tech Tequila. Even if you didn't enjoy the tequila. I've been Mahalo. And I've been Matt. We'll see you tomorrow. No! no!